Crossroads Media. I'm just defeated right now. I don't know if it's because the game was four hours long and it just kept dragging on and those extra innings wouldn't stop and I was desperately begging for the game to be over with the Phillies winning the game, of course, but that's not what I got. I got Bryson Stott swinging at the first pitch, which then resulted in a fly out, not enough damage done. Bryce Harper with the bases loaded. How come every single time he's at the plate, I see a slider that doesn't slide and it's left over the heart and he fouls it back? This team has to lead the league in just missed. Oh, he just missed that one. Oh, just missed. Austin Hayes, who had a good game, but I'm watching a slow-mo of him just missing. As the ball goes back towards the backstop. All right. I mean, when they put in Clay Holmes, God, everybody and their mother can find a way to at least tie up a game when he's on the mound. He stinks. Glaber Torres sucks too. The game would have been an hour and a half shorter if he just knew how to turn a double play. This is the same guy that says, I'm not changing my position, assholes. That's what he tells the Yankees when he just has errors and errors and errors out the wazoo. You got a quick turnaround. 12 o'clock game tomorrow, 1230. Whatever. Another series loss. Another series loss at home, although it doesn't feel like it's a home series with all the Yankees fans taking over your ballpark, chanting MVP at Aaron Judge. Hey, Jazz Chisholm's a machine, huh? Jesus Christ. Matt Strom pitching scared to Juan Soto and Judge puts both of them on. What do you think Jazz Chisholm's going to do with a pitch like that? He had two homers. He's got four so far in this series. It's crazy what happens when you make an impact trade at the deadline. And I got so many thoughts on what Dave Dombrowski did, but I don't know if now's the time for that. Quite frankly, I really don't care about discussing him swapping lefty relievers between Tanner Banks and Soto and then trading Sir Anthony for Estevez and and picking up Austin Hayes, which is nice. Once again, nice little move. But Jazz Chisholm is giving them a, a, a real injection. It wasn't a bad day for Austin Hayes, and obviously not playing in Camden Yards with left field being different was a huge talking point for Dave when he made the decision to bring him in. And yeah, you saw that on display today, but I promise you Jazz is going to do more than Austin Hayes does when it's all said and done. Think about the difference here. Jazz Chisholm faced who? Aaron Nola Matstrom. Austin Hayes faced who? Some first-time pitcher who, by the way, settled in nicely, started striking out guys left and right, and once again, had Trey Turner fooled, had Bryce Harper just missing. (laughs) Well, Well, I guess that's really a Bryce Harper problem. But right now, there is a serious Bryce Harper problem because he's just not right. He's not effective. He's not the superstar we need him to be. What's been electric about Bryce since putting on a Phillies uniform? When it's crunch time, more times than not, he delivers. Woof. Bases loaded, game on the line. Woof. To be completely honest with you, there was so much that went on late in that game. My brain's a pretzel trying to recalibrate a little bit. And to try and soak in that info. But I'm almost taking it like I'm a player on the diamond. You play again tomorrow afternoon early. I guess you got to shake it off. But (sighs) even if they win tomorrow, what's that change for me? You already dropped the series. Is there a big difference between getting swept and not? Yeah, I guess. Some pride. But you've already shown me, or showed me, you've already shown 
that you don't have that much pride since Oakland. So is one game going to be the difference in pride? They don't look like a prideful bunch. They look like a defeated bunch. It's just totally unacceptable. You escaped having to face Garrett Cole. When that news broke, as much as from a baseball fan level, I would have loved to seen such a sick pitching matchup. I went to McGurk's earlier this afternoon in Horsham, and WIP had a really cool deadline day there. A bunch of people came out, and Ricky Ricardo, who is the voice for, he actually does the Spanish broadcast for the Eagles, and he does New York Yankees broadcast as well, and I saw him there. We were kind of shooting the breeze a little bit about the game and the series and all that stuff, and, you know, when, when I was talking to him about this club, he's like, dude, dude. Our guy, Jazz. Our guy, Jazz. Look at what he's doing. Yeah. Yup. I know. And he did it again. It's unbelievable. But he brought up Cole Nola. Like, man, is that going to be an insane matchup? And that was what I really wanted to get to there was the fact that, you know, four, five, six hours before first pitch, here we are discussing how sick it's going to see uh, be to see Cole and Nola. And, and then you get robbed of that. But I am so desperate that in this particular moment, I was like, all right, look, this team needs every single little luck they possibly can have. I don't want injuries ever. But I'm just saying, if you get a chance to face a first-time major league pitcher compared to Garrett frickin' Cole, I'll take the first-time major league pitcher, especially when you are scrambling every single day to try and get a win. And then I'm watching, essentially, from the fourth inning on, from the fourth until the ninth, zero offense. The only time you get on base is what? When Kyle Schwarber gets hit by a pitch after the fourth inning? That's a disgrace. It was a JT single and then absolutely nothing going forward from there. It's miserable. This team is actually painful. I dread putting them on because I know the next two and a half to four hour experience is going to make me want to blow my entire brain out of my head. Was there any real belief that they were going to find a way to win that game when you realize where they are with their relievers and Hoffman has to go a couple innings and he got Kirker in in there and, you know, it's like... Why? Why does this have to happen? It would have been nice to get something sweeter at the deadline. I'm just saying. The amount of people I got to watch on Twitter say, how come everyone's upset? There was no market for anything massive. And they kept all their prospects. And they improved their bullpen. And they got a left fielder. And that's what they set out to do. Dude. And this might be the wrong timing for it. Because Austin Hayes did his job in this game. But look what Jazz is doing to the Yanks. And while I had my concerns on personality and, you know, maybe just the way that he was in Miami or whatever, that's on Dave to figure it out. And it's clear that when he's in a clubhouse with Soto, when he's in a clubhouse with Judge, when he was in a different culture, so far, so good. And he may not have been number one on my list. Maybe it was Brent Rooker. Maybe it was any other outfielder that was a bigger name at the time prior to Tuesday at 6 o'clock. But you see what type of life happens when there's buzz surrounding 
a move.